Hey everyone, welcome back to effect for you channel. Today, we are going to create fitness opener, like this. So let's get started. First create a new comp, 1920 by 1080, this is our main comp. Now create a new solid layer. Then apply gradient ramp effect. Change start and end color as you like. Now create a new comp. 1920 by 1920. This is our placeholder 1 comp. Drag your image into the timer line, and adjust them. Now go to main comp and drag placeholder comp into the timer line, and change opacity 15%. Now create a new comp, 2000 by 2000, I call this BG shape. Select pen tool and create a shape like this. Now go to main comp and drag BG shape comp into the timer line, and adjust left side of the comp. And apply the same BG gradient ramp effect and adjust them. Now we need to animate. So go to 1 second forward, and add a keyframe on position and rotation. Then go to first frame and move the position, left side of the comp. And also change the rotation little bit. Select all keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Cool. Now duplicate the layer. Select all keyframes and move the shape right side of the comp. And change the animation. Now drag splash image into the timer line. Now create a new comp, 1200 by 350 pixels, I call this arrow. Select pen tool and create a arrow shape like this. Now open shape layer, and add repeater, open repeater transform and change X position 140. And increase number of copies 40. Now go to first frame and add a keyframe on offset, and change offset amount minus 42. Then go to round 4 seconds forward and change offset amount 12. Also apply the loop out expression. Now go to main comp and drag arrow comp into the timer line. Select pen tool and create a mask like this. Resize shape little bit, and apply the fill effect, and change fill color.
Now duplicate the layer and turn off fill effect. And move layer top side of the comp. And rotate 180 degrees. Now create a new comp. 1500 by 1400 pixels. I call this yellow circle. Drag circle image into the timer line. Then select ellipse tool and create a circle like this. Now apply radial wipe effect. Go to first frame and add a keyframe on transition completion. Then go to 3 seconds forward and increase transition completion 100%. Select both keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Now apply rough and edges effects. Increase border 80. Complexity 10. Now select circle image and change track mat, alpha inverted mat. Cool. Now go to main comp, and drag yellow circle comp into the timer line. Resize lay a little bit. Now drag placeholder image into the timer line, and resize the layer. Now duplicate the yellow circle layer, and resize it, and move bottom side of the comp. Move the layer few frames forward. Cool. Now create a new comp 1080 by 1080 pixels. I call this circle. Select ellipse tool and create a circle like this. Then apply Venetian blinds effect. Transition completion 80%. Direction 45 degrees. Go to main comp and drag circle comp into the timer line and adjust top side of the comp also duplicate the layer and adjust bottom side of the comp now select circle layer go to first frame and add a keyframe on opacity. And change opacity 0%, then go to 2 to 3 frames forward and randomly change the opacity. Again go to 2 to 3 frames forward and randomly decrease the opacity. Do this few frames forward. Then select all keyframes and select toggle hold keyframes. Now copy all keyframes. And paste it on other circle layer. Also move the layer few frames forward. Also paste the same keyframes on placeholder layer.
Now go to around 20 frames forward and add a keyframe on position, then go to first frame and move position left side of the comp. Select position keyframes and make your graph like this. Also apply the posterize wiggle expression. Cool. Now duplicate the layer, then select bottom placeholder layer, and apply fill effect. Also delete all keyframes, and move layer few frames forward. Now create a new comp. 600 by 200 pixels. I call this small dot. Select ellipse tool and create a small circle. Open shape layer and add repeater. Now open repeater transform. And change X position, 40. And increase number of copies around 10. Then go to 1 second forward and add a keyframes. Then go to first frame and change number of copies 0. And also apply a loop out expression. Duplicate the layer multiples time and adjust them. Now go to main comp, and drag small dots comp into the timeline, and adjust them. Now create a new comp, 1920 by 1920 pixels. I call this text 1. Select text tool and type your text. Go to main comp and drag text comp into the timer line. And adjust them. Now apply drop shadow effect. Opacity 30%. Distance 20. Softness 30. Now go to first frame and add a keyframe on opacity. Change opacity 0%. Then go to few frames forward and randomly increase the opacity. Similarly do this few frames forward. Select all keyframes, then select toggle hold keyframes, copy all keyframes, and paste it around 2 seconds forward. Now select rectangle tool, and create a mask like this. Then duplicate the text layer and check inverted mask. Also move the text layer a few frames forward. Cool. Now drag dirt footage into the timer line. Change layer mode lighten. Now create a new adjustment layer. 
then apply fast blur effect. Go to first frame, and add a keyframe on blurriness, and change mount 50. Then go to few frames forward, and change blurriness 0. Our animation has done, hit 0 for render. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video, so please, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel, for more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.